So, there's a bad news. Good morning. Today is a public holiday, and me and Meg, we are planning to go to Chile Festival. It's a bit of a gamble because <laughs> we don't know if there's going to be public transportation available for us, but we just gotta try. <laughs> now I'm going to meet her in the city. The Tesla Tulip Festival is one of the most highly anticipated spring events in Melbourne. Every year, people come from all over to see the tulips in bloom and enjoy the festivities. I have already been there a couple of times and both times it was great fun. Recently, I was gifted two free tickets from a friend and apparently Meg has never been to the Tulip Festival. So, this long weekend, I invited her to come and spend the day with me and experience it herself. As you can see, the weather is perfect and it's going to be 20 degrees in the afternoon so just can't be more happier than this. <laughs> In order to get to the Tesla Tour Festival, we need to board a train to Lilydale and it's going to take us about an hour from the CBD. Next, we'll have to hop onto the 663 bus which would then bring us directly to the toilet farm in 25 minutes. According to our calculation, if everything went correctly, we should be able to arrive by 10.30am and leave around 1pm. We'll see. The bad news apparently the bus that we were waiting for is not here getting around melbourne by bus can be really confusing at times we checked the google map and the ptv app for a timetable the bus was supposed to arrive at 9 45 a.m we've been waiting since 9 35 and now it's almost 10 there's still no sign of it i don't know if it's gonna come but meg is checking for the schedule <coughs> going to arrive. There were some options but we went to Brown Birds Don't Fly Cafe. <laughs> How's your coffee by the way? <laughs> What's oh, but it's still no. okay. okay. I'm gonna try my batch. 
too hot. Ini kayak esnya dikit banget. Oh yeah, so it's all milk. It looks like it's just milk. But we are feel ready to go. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the bus is going to come and pick us up, please. Lol. <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> Look at these. Everyone's walking. <laughs> Hi, Meg. <laughs> finally, finally walking. So, <laughs> we got on the bus at 10:27 a.m. and now is 12:30. 12.55 12.55 So we've been on the bus for two hours-ish We haven't even arrived at the farm just yet We still have to walk because the traffic is just too crazy for us to just sit on the bus for two hours So we decided to walk Everyone is walking right now I believe that it's going to be very very packed in there as well We don't know what's the plan now But yeah What a day What a day <laughs> Wait, is it here? We don't even look at the tulips yet at all. Um, so hungry. <laughs> Wings. One hour later. We finally got our food. Okay, so we're gonna help her. What a nightmare. That was 45 minutes, okay? First oh of all. God. And no change, it's okay. Huh? No change? Instead of 32. Did it leave my No, 33. Huh? Oh. One window. Oh, okay. Not. That's fine. So, we got a spot. We're sitting on the grass to eat our food. She's setting up her camera. Alright, let's just eat. The police, these are the ones that are not blooming yet. But we go to the side. Look at this madness. <laughs> I don't even want to take photos. I don't think there's any chance for you to take photos in here because there's a gazillion human. No, not for me. I'm just gonna admire the tulips from afar. <sighs> Speechless. I don't even have words for what we have experienced today. 
basically it's just lining up lining up lining up yeah today is all about waiting testing and our people patience watching. people watching yes uh, we ate quite a lot but other than that <laughs> Now we're waiting for our bus to get back to the city. Fingers crossed. <laughs> we're not gonna get stuck in there for four hours. Traffic seems alright. Crossing our fingers. Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> I wish. Oh boy. Bruh. Bruh. Another absurd rule at the festival was the food vendors weren't allowed to sell drinks. There was only one stall selling beverages. The line was ridiculously long. We ended up holding off our thirst and this is me when I found a tap water in the train station. How does it taste like? Uh, like, <laughs> like water from the mountain. Okay. Yum! Yeah. <laughs> like you have, like you have. <laughs> headed back to the city at 3 p.m. and I arrived home at 5. We were both exhausted by the end of it and I felt sort of bad for traumatizing Meg with this experience. <laughs> but that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.